I'm Joey Haber from Flying Tortoise Kung Fu in Portland, Oregon. In this video, we are going to take a look at the throwing application of the Hold Heaven Palm. The Hold Heaven Palm Throw is the second application in the Bagua Zong Ding Shi Ba Zong, or Fixed Eight Palm Set. The Hold Heaven Palm Transition contains many mechanics that are integral to the study of Bagua. In this video, we are going to examine two of them, Pien and Shui. Pien and Shui are movements that can most easily be seen in this classic Bagua teacup exercise. Pien is the full body coil created by Zhang Shifu's left hand drawing across his body, incorporating the low back and the hips. And Shui is the release of that coil through the opposite arm. As we dig into Pien and Shui, we are exposed to the challenging concept that in internal Gong Fu, the structure generating power is not necessarily the one that will release it. In this video, Zhang Shifu's right hand begins his coil, and in doing so creates Pien, as he draws his body in a series of tight circles, ultimately turning his spine, hips, and legs into a large spring. As this spring then releases from his feet, his whole body rebounds, accelerating as it does so. The movement is then directed into the loose and ready left hand, which whips out into Shui, transferring the force from the coil into his opponent. The two-person choreographed application of the Hold Heaven Palm is super useful in making sense of these complex movements. In this application, an aggressor grabs the wrist of a defender and externally rotates their arm. This rotation helps draw the defender into their coil. Next, the defender takes a deep kobu around their own foot to release some of the pressure building in their wrist. This first kobu builds the energy of Pien. The ko is followed by a baibu that aims the foot in the direction of the aggressor. And finally, the pian is released into shui in one final step that brings the defender crashing into the aggressor's ribs. The aggressor then grabs the outstretched hand of the defender, pulls it back for balance, and then steps out over the thrown leg, repeating the sequence repetitiously until the movement becomes clear. The choreographed application of the hold heaven palm is great for practicing footwork and complex internal mechanics. However, it's far too overstuffed for combat application. As we transition to freeform partner work, we take some time to practice this two-hand shoulder grab release. Such half steps give students a chance to work with the power potential of Pian and Shui without the lead-up provided in the form. This is key, as it's difficult for many students to maintain the relaxed coil gained in internal practice under any sort of duress. Once the half step is looking clean, we finally start to play with Pian and Shui as a counter to clinch. Clinch can be tricky to break, as direct force often makes it stronger. The beauty of this counter is that the force is multi-vectored, both in the Pian and Shui coil as well as in the level drop. Thus, this technique is quite difficult to track, which gives the Bagua practitioner a chance to create an opening, and not only escape, but potentially turn the tables. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about the structure of the fixed eight palms, please check out this attached link. And if you enjoy this video, please drop me a like, and be sure to subscribe for more content on Beijing Gongfu.